Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to measure angles with a protractor. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have a very simple protractor. This is the type of protractor that would likely be included in any math kit that you would get. There are sort of math sets that you can get, and this is the type of protractor that would be included in that. But they come in different shapes, sizes. Well, not really different shapes, they're all this shape, but different sizes, colors, and stuff like that, different fonts. But this is just a typical protractor. And I've drawn two angles on here. And I'm going to show you how to measure the angles. It's actually really easy to do. So first, let's take a look at the protractor. You can see right here we have a line at the bottom. This line at the bottom that goes in, that coincides with the zeros on each side, that lines up with the bottom line of the angle, or the first line that you're going to measure on the angle. And then these numbers on the sides here, on the outside, there's an inner set and an outer set that actually will tell you the angle depending on which side the angle is on. Okay, it's really easy to do. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to line up this bottom line with the bottom line on the angle. And then this little vertical line right in the center is going to go right at the corner of the angle. So in this case, <clears throat> I'm lining up the bottom zero line, okay, with the bottom line of the angle. And then we are going to line up, we are going to line up the vertical line that goes right in the middle with the edge, right at the corner with the vertice of the angle. And all that we need to do is start at zero. So in, in order to know whether you're using the inner set of numbers or the outer set, or, a set of numbers, you're going to start at zero. So we start at zero, and zero is actually in the inner set of numbers right here. So we're starting at zero and working our way up. And as you can see right here, <clears throat> if I start at zero and I work my way up, this angle is about halfway between 20 and 30. So the angle is about 25 degrees. So this angle right here, if you start at zero, 10, 20, and then it's halfway to 30. So it's about 25 degrees, and you can use the outer lines as a guideline as well for the little increments, okay? So this angle is actually 25 degrees, very simple. Now there's an angle on, an, on the other side, and what we're gonna do is do the same thing. I'm gonna line up the, and I'll bring the, I'll bring the camera a little bit further up, there we go. I'm gonna line up the bottom line, the zeros line, on the bottom line of the angle, and I'm gonna line up this vertical line with that vertice, with that corner right there, just like that, so just like that so we're good to go and now we're going to look at where this angle falls now for this one we're going to do start at the bottom and the zero at the bottom of the of this angle uh just give me a minute the zero at the bottom of this angle is actually going to be um on the outer set of numbers so uh sorry about that someone was knocking on my door i just have to finish this video so the zero on this angle is at the outer set of numbers we're going to work our way up and this is actually about 45 degrees so it's 0 10 20 30 40 and then halfway to 50 it's about 45 degrees and that's basically it. that is how to measure angles with a protractor a full tutorial if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching